Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. So today I'm going to take you on board the Ocean Explorer in Belmar, New Jersey. And also I'm going to show you how I make my own homemade tog jigs. It's just a regular simple setup. I got the lead melter. I got the mold on eBay. I also got um, some hooks and eyelets. And I'm going to show you how I paint them. Let's go. So I'm going to show you my little setup here. I got this Lee melter. It's about like 60 to 80 bucks. I'm not sure. I forgot how much it was. Um, I also got this mold from eBay. Uh, it cost me a nice little penny, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Um, you know how you could lose a lot of tackle when you're tog fishing at the jetties? So um, I just kind of invested in this. I got a little oven bake here because um, after you paint them, you want to bake it a little and get that nice shiny coat on it. And these are the hooks that I'm using. These are just Mustad hooks. These are uh, the Sugar Hansi, two extra strong, size 4.0 and the 3.0. These are the eyelids, size 1, that fits on um, do it modes. This is a size 2. I'm gonna show you here. So my mold does half ounce all the way to three ounces, but the heaviest I really go is a two ounce. I don't really use a three ounce. I'm gonna put the size one eyelid and I'm gonna be making a one ounce jig. Put it in like that. I'm gonna use a size four roll. Make sure everything is lined up and just nice and flat. I'm gonna close it. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna let it go like that so I have a nice smooth uh, release right there and just put it in the cavity. Put it in the mold just like that. It takes a second to cool down and take it out. There we go. That's how easy it is to make a jig. Let's make another one. So I just take them off like that, the ends. Careful, they can still be hot. The leftovers, I just put it back, put back in just like that, and it melts right away. So over here, um, I look for any um, flaws, like any sharp points. I just kind of grind it down. I'm gonna show you how I paint them and um, let's go. So guys, you're gonna need a heat gun. This is the one I've, I've been using and it's pretty reliable so far. I used it a dozen times. It's a 1200 watt, here we go. And uh, I'll leave a link again. So I put it on high. I had this on for at least a good 30 minutes and no problems, so um, Pretty reliable this thing. So guys, um, I use this Protec powder paint. Um, I know there's other methods of painting these jigs, like with with an air pump and just dip it in. But I found out like this is the easiest way for me. And um, what I do, I just take the bottle, I shake it really well, and have the powder really like nice and fluffy, like that. And I'm going to use the chartreuse. See how that will look. And I'm going to turn on the heat gun. What I do, I just take the jig head. I'm going to heat it up. I heat it up for like a minute. Get it nice and hot. 
what I do, and then I dip it in really quick. So after you get it nice and hot, what I do, I dip it in really quick. There we go. You gotta be quick with it because if you just stay in there for too long, it's gonna have extra paint on it, melted, and it's not gonna look good. So after this, what I like to do, I'm gonna dab it with some cream. There you go. I'm gonna come back to the heat gun. Do a nice little heat up again. And that's it, guys. That's what it looks like. That's what the finished powder looks like, guys. It's pretty good. I like the black and the truck shoes on it. I just let it hang here. I'm going to use some little orange too. Have some fun with it. Okay, after you get it nice and hot, I'm going to dip them in the black. Really quick. There you go. Put some green on it. Put some orange. Oh wow, it looks pretty cool guys. Sick. And you know, you could do whatever color you want, you know. Looks pretty cool to me. I'm gonna just let it hang right here. I'm gonna make a couple of more. I'm gonna dip in the black really quick. Shake off the rest. Okay. Grab the orange one first. Gotta be kind of quick with it. Looks pretty cool, guys. So, I'm gonna show you my little production line. So, you got the jig, you got the paint, and you got the uh, heat gun. And here we go. This is the finished product. This, these are the ones that I just made right now. Black, chartreuse, and orange on it. Looks pretty cool. And these are from the past black one we got some white on it we got all white and we got the unpainted ones all right guys so i'm gonna be using these jigs to catch some fish on the charter boat that's <laughs> Guys, I got my Chicken World My Ranger Rod with my Twin Power 4000. I got 20 pound braid with 40 pound model filament. And I got a one ounce jig on this. Hopefully we can get away with a one ounce. Uh, I also have two ounces. So I'm working with the, uh, the Chicken World. We got the Mexel 25L with 20 pound braid. 40 pound model filament.
odds at the rail. Even though a lot of you are in direct violation. You want to get in the season, I also met one of the mates that we could sign you up for that. How it works is $20, every $20 that goes in, that it gets you in, I match it another 20 up to 1500 out of my own pocket. And it goes until the end of February. So if you guys want to get in it, now's a good time. You pay once and you're in it for the rest of the, like I said, till the end of Blackfish season. Get any bites? No, right? Really. It looks like that. It looks like a keeper. Nice. Nice shot. You got him? Yeah, it's a small one though. <laughs> oh, maybe a keeper. <laughs> like barely said, maybe. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Got one, bud? Well done, keeper, keeper. Oh, yeah. Where's the dog? Bucket right here? Yeah. It's right there. I was just over here. You waited till I leave to get it? <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, there it is. Sure, right? Oh, bad. It's small, right? <laughs> that one? Yeah. It's smaller. He's a keeper. Oh, he is? This one is. Oh, all right, great. So now I don't feel so bad about this is not. That's not a keeper. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's he going? Right here. You can put it there. Thank you. All right, buddy. Yeah, the hook. Oh, that's a keeper. and tell all your friends that the aliens are friendly. Uh -huh.
looks like a keeper, right? Keeper, keeper. In the bucket here? Yes, sir. Keeper, keeper. Ah. Well, better break in here than out there. We'll just retie it. All right, last shot. And the pool is closed when you hear that third horn. Wind them up and we'll get going. Take your last shot here, guys. Those on the winning side today, the mates will be in the back of the boat cleaning the fish. We'll be happy to clean them up for you. And then we'll weigh up the pool. This see who's going to win the money. Okay day, I'm going home uh, with some three fish and my friend caught one keeper also, I can't really complain. It, it started out pretty slow, the first and second stop and the third one, uh, we started catching a little more tug and um, it started to pick up. My new jigs that I've been using, uh, it worked well, uh, I didn't go over one ounce today, the current wasn't that strong also. I'm gonna try next time guys, thanks for watching, catch you next time.